Father, we thank you for these beautiful hours. We know we exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the hour has come to relieve your people and set them free from all kind of sicknesses. Lord, we want to see you at this hour. Touch every life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we decree that the throne of heaven, the power of your glory, O Lord, we strengthen your hand upon us mightily this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. And we shall not the same again in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen. And amen. Let's be seated. We're going to look at relief from depression. Relief from depression. Or relief from all kind of problems. Relief from all kind of problems. Actually, we're focusing on depression. Likewise, all kind of diseases and other problems. But we believe God in beauty of his glory will visit us with his mighty power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 5 verse 23 says, For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in the name, he has not done evil, you, you, he has done the evil to these people, neither has thou delivered thy people at all. You know, in the position and the situations when you've been depressed, one thing devil wanting to do is to make sure it distracts you from focusing of what we call truth. It doesn't want you to believe in yourself. It just wants you to focus on those things that devil have already created how he wants you to look at yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember there was a time <clears throat> I met with one man and this happened in Oakland because I was in my office and the Lord told me I should go to a particular place say somebody need my prayer. What? Then I jumped inside the car. Then the Lord began to direct me until I get to the social worker place. And uh, as I enter, I said, Lord, where will I go? He said, enter the lift. And I enter the lift. When I enter the elevator, he said, stop at the first floor. Then I stop. As I came out, he said, look. And as I'm looking at the front, I said, go. Then I met the man. You could see the pain of what devil have done because all what he applied for was not given at all. He was depressed. I just walked over him. I said, God bless you, sir. I said, do you mind if I pray with you? He said, yes, yes, pray with me. After the prayer, the power of the Lord touched him. Now, the devil that tells him that, okay, it is over, it's not going to be possible, then the word of the Lord search him out. Listen carefully. Then he came to the office. Then I put him in program for about a few days. I said, the door is open for you. I said, you're not going to believe it. But the Lord said, he has opened the door again. Then he went and replied, it, you know, to the glory of God, the testimony followed immediately. Immediately the testimony followed. But I'm trying to let you understand. This man has already, you know, made up his mind and fair, forget it. This is my last hope. He's an old man. He has no strength of his own. But Jesus visited him. I want to share another one again. I met with this man. As I walked toward him, by instruction God gave to me, then I drove from my office and I went to the same place again. And the Spirit of God was telling me where the man sat. Then when I walk over there, I said, can I pray with you? He said, no. I want no prayer. <laughs> he said he doesn't want any prayer. You don't want no prayer. It's okay. Then uh, I started asking some questions. Then he was replying. After, you know, I go through the word of God. And I said, okay, I'm going now. He said, no, you can't go. You have to pray for me. <laughs> Press the name of the Lord. And instantly his deliverance come. The pressure does not want you. Look at that man. He's saying he doesn't want no prayer. But he needed the prayer. Devil have already captured him. Want him to see evil in what we deliver him. Let's think about it. That is what depression can do. 
Depression will never let you have any hope. He will disconnect you from one that can deliver you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The book of Proverbs chapter 2 verse 12. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 12. It said to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. From the man that speaketh forward things. Listen to this. God has come to deliver you. From any kind of thing that is speaking forward in your life. Bringing things to look as if you don't have God. Because that is his goal. His goal is to bring you out of the grace that cover you. Praise the name of the Lord. Job. As soon as Satan made it unto God, let me deal with this guy. Are you going to know whether he knows you or not? The Job refused to deny him. Friends tells him, deny him. He said, oh, I will not mind it all. He reveals on the door of mercy open for him. Don't lose hope. As you listen to me, don't lose hope. God have answer to all your needs. That issue will turn to story in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. You know, there's somebody, I'm looking at you. And somebody is introducing you to a cortex way. That, you know, that does not stop you not to serve God. It's going to stop you. It's going to stop you. Listen to this very well. When the children of Israel wanted to fight Philistines, what happened? They have an idol in their hand. Listen carefully, my dear sister. You are a woman. Listen carefully. You are a woman. And what followed is this. They went to the battle. As soon as they went to the battle, the enemy destroyed them. Eli was the priest at that time. Samuel was still a young man. But the second time they went, because they still have the idol. God does not fight or makes you to be a winner when the idol is your hand. Looking for another goddess, invoking power through concussion, cannot stand in the position of mighty God. It's not possible. He said, I am jealous God. God hates somebody that gave his glory to Satan because he created all things. Why can't you respect the one that created everything? No, he did not forget about you. Don't even answer that way. He cannot forget about you. He is with you. You will try over. Watch this. The children of Israel, they went and carried the ark of God thinking God is going to manifest himself for them to get victory. No. They were slaughtered. Eli children died. When he got the news, that what killed himself. Praise the name of the Lord. Or as a man of God, whereby God has already accused of wrong ways of bringing the children up. God has already accused him. I want you to listen to this. What follows? After the death of Eli. And Samuel. He called the attentions. Of all Israelites. You got it to let it hide on your hand to go. I will call upon God for you. I will call upon God. And that is exactly what happened. As soon as they repented. From their sins. And the manifestation of glory of God. Was revealed he said. Over the children of Israel. You know what follows? God rise in heaven, 
by letting heaven retune us sound of great war to hear the Philistine and they themselves were confessing oh the God of Israel have arise if we wait we are dead God is on your side don't be discouraged the beauty of his glory is rested upon you look at what Proverbs chapter 16 verse 6 says it's the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them but the transgressor shall be taken in their own nastiness in their own nastiness you know let me tell you something a lot of people think God cannot yes he watches you when you believe and walk with him he stay with you he watches over you he takes here whatever the wrong that surrounds you. Because he's God. He proud that you're proud of him. Hallelujah. He recognizes you every second. But the situation does not make you to turn your back as if it's not there for you. No. He will answer you. He will answer you. You know, in one of my period of message, I was using. Root as example is a woman that loved God to the heart. Think about it. And she revealed depression to take over her. Her mother in law was depressed. She looked at things, you know, in a different, awkward way. But Root made her to understand, Mama, I don't care where you go, I will go. I'm not going to leave you. It takes those who strongly believe in God. Even the more root, the more um, uh, the, the mother in law talked to her, which is uh, what, what's her name again? Uh, uh, Na Naomi. The more Naomi was addressing her, encouraged her to come back. No, I'm not going anywhere. And look at it. Family of our Lord Jesus Christ will deliver through the womb of root a stranger an idol worshiper that gave a life to god come to the kingdom god can do anything to glorify himself in your life don't agree with depression depression is a spirit because it brings different kind of negative things it makes you to look at yourself so low as if the end of life is there I said, you don't have any solutions. You know, the Lord is even telling me about some students. I saw a, 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 a student. You feel discouraged. You feel discouraged. You are going to listen to this message. I don't know why, but the Spirit of God is telling me you are going to listen to this message. And this is exactly what is happening to you. This is exactly what is happening to you. You are discouraged because devil are bring different things into your mind and that make you not to focus and you begin to lose your faith in God. No, dear devil, I'm coming back to Jesus. You are going to do better. I say you will do better. I say you will do better. There was a time my daughter came to me and she told me, Daddy, I don't think I can do this thing. I love at it. I say you are able, you can do it. I said, trust me, you can do it. I don't even pray for her. I said, go and try it again. But this is the application you should apply. And she become the best in it. Hallelujah. But the devil doesn't want you to move forward. That young lady is change. Believe in Jesus. The Bible says the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the name of the Lord will fully glorify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the devil wanted to use to cage you not to have, you know, not to achieve your purpose is crouching now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 13 says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and amen try to understand what he's saying 
nothing to compare with mighty God in every doing in life because he made everything he has it to himself and no one can change God from who he is that is another great thing to those that believe to those that acknowledge him because because for thy kingdom and the power and the glory forever and that is who you have dwelled in you is walking in you is power of his glory it's not going to allow devil to hold you back hallelujah hallelujah for John chapter 3 verse 8 is a he that committed sin is of the devil for the devil sin it from the beginning for this purpose the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devils Christ has come to take away your problem Christ has come to take away your sickness Christ has come to liberate you Christ has come you know to induce his kingdom into your business for the glory of God to be manifest hallelujah look at Isaac in the land of glory and God make him special in the old nations he become a man that feed those nations hallelujah because he knows God know him and you are going to see the God God will prove who he is in your life hallelujah Luke chapter 174 Luke chapter 1 verse 74 that he will grant unto us that we been delivered out of the hand of our enemies my serving without fear God wants you to have confidence in him your confidence is what going to yield you to fullness of his glory hallelujah so you'll be able to serve him in boldness a new devil is coming to distract a new devil is coming to steal a new devil wanting to do something that will destroy the glory of god in your life look at what psalm 1850 says it's a great deliverance given he is to the king to his king and she with mercy to his anointed to david and to his seed forevermore hallelujah hallelujah the greatness of god is coming to set you free whereby your family your grandchildren will enjoy that beauty of his kingdom because it happened to David David got great deliverance the Bible tells me the 132 Psalm 132 and that is when David make a decision say I'm not going to go to my bed until I find a place for God in my life look at that challenge and look at what God said God turned around. He moved God. You too, you can move God to change your situation. David moved God. And God promised him, if your children can stand, can stand, in my Lord abide with truth of me. He said, they will continue reigning as a king in Israel. Is that not happen? Yes, it's continue. The continuation will proceed until when they don't know him anymore hallelujah the more they walk with him God is giving them all what he needed for the glory of mighty God hallelujah somebody let's listen to this Luke chapter 4 verse 18 Luke chapter 4 verse 18 the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach that gospel to the poor he has sent me to hear the broken hearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering to sight to the blind to 
should set at liberty them that are bruised. I want you to listen to this. Jesus is speaking here. Our Savior is talking here. Because when he opened the book and he saw his purpose, the purpose of God is to deliver you. His purpose is to set you free. His purpose is to liberate you. He got all the power. All the power been given to him. No wonder the Bible said, mention the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Who can change that? No one God gives such power. So depression cannot stay. It has no place in your life. Sickness cannot stay. It has no place in your life because Christ paid all. He shed the blood on the cover. Bondage cannot rule over you. No, your freedom has to come. Hallelujah. The book of Luke, Luke chapter 7, verse 15. And he that was dead and sad up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. Hallelujah. And the child is dead. They lose hope because life is alive. And when I say life is alive, people will say, What is he talking about? Because Jesus Christ is life himself. It's light that become light among men. Hallelujah. It shining and it cannot be held back. Shout hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah. And Christ is the power and the child come back to life. Let me tell you something. If Christ can do that at that time he will do greater now. And he has not changed. Don't lose hope. Do not lose hope. I'm looking at a woman. I know you have a child. I'm looking at a boy. It's in the hospital. I can't actually tell where this child is. The Lord is asking me to tell you that child will live. I release a mountain of healing unto that child. God, if you are God that revealing the child to me, I command in the name of Jesus. Life come to the child in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. It is gone. Your child is going to live. You can hear it. I'm going to tell you now. Because Christ is facing that child right now. The Bible made me understand. Luke 7:15. And he that was dead sat up. He that was there was sat up. And begin to speak and delivered him to his mother. Your child is coming back home live in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ has not changed the power of his glory. The beauty of his kingdom rested upon those who actually believe him. Luke chapter 9, verse 42 say, And as he was here a coming, the devil drew him down and tear him. And Jesus reproved the unclean spirit and he healed the child and delivered him again to his father. Hallelujah. It's a power to do anything. Jesus has power to do anything. Jesus has power to take care of every situation. Jesus has power to liberate you from depression. For any kind of disease or sicknesses in the precious mighty name of Jesus. I want you to look at this Acts chapter 12, verse 11. And when Peter was coming to himself, he said, Now I know of surely that the Lord has sent his angel and had delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jew. Hallelujah. Because he's been prison. It won't shame down. But suddenly you just see the prison got broken. The chain was loose out of him. 
anything that bound you, I decree in the name of Jesus, loose now in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. I'm looking at a woman. The Lord is telling me I'm hearing business, business, my business. Uh huh. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak life to that your business. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak life to that your business. Yes, I declare that help to come to you now. In the power that in the name of Jesus Christ. Here, Psalm 22, verse 20. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dogs. Every corruption, demons walking against the glory of God, you are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 27, verse 12, finally. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemy. For false witnesses are rising up against me, and such as breathe out of crazy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will deliver you in all the kinds of problems of life. Jesus Christ is our power to set you free. He has power to lose you. I want you to close your eyes.